Hello, hello. All right. So in this module, we'll be, I'll be discussing different marketing techniques and different marketing strategies um, to increase your notary business. Okay. Um, to increase your visibility in your market. Um, I'll be offering some strategies uh, that'll include um, your website, that'll include leveraging some social media and networking within your community. All right. So I'm just going to jump in. I'm just going to first of all say that the number one strategy for marketing and business that I found is meeting the meeting a prospect in person. Okay. When you meet a prospect in person, it increases your chances tenfold, better than any, better than anything that I discussed in the last module, um, as far as different systems. Um, that's good if you want to reach someone that's far away from you, but if you want to dominate your local market, you have to meet your prospect in person, whether that's a title officer, whether that's a lender, whether that's a realtor, um, even a signing service. If you have a signing service that's based in your area, go meet them. You know, um, it's best to meet them in person. Um, I can't stress that enough. What I did, what I, what I do for my business currently is, um, I created like, um, a customized box and I put in those boxes, I put, um, donuts in those boxes and I go and I meet the prospect in person. Okay. I drop by the office. No one is ever, no one's going to kick you out of their office or bringing them something some goodies to eat or, or any type of goodies that, that you're into cookies, cakes, um, my case is donuts, um, cupcakes, whatever, whatever you, you could find that specialty or that's really good in your market, bring it to them, bring it to them, drop it off and, you know, say, Hey, um, you know, I'm a notary in, in your area. I just want to drop by this, this, uh, these donuts to your office, you know, um, just to introduce myself to you and they're going to be very thankful for it. But, the key is do not leave that office without a business card. Okay. Cause they'll take it. They'll take your donuts, your cookies, your cakes, they'll eat it and they'll never call you. Okay. So you want to make sure that you leave with something you're giving them something. So usually when you give somebody something, they feel obligated to give something back to you. Right? So that's your opportunity to ask for a business card. And when you get that business card, then you follow up, then you use the systems that I talked about in the last module. And you follow up. So you created some kind of campaign. Like in my, in my particular case in Apollo, I have a campaign that it's like, I call it the donut campaign. So I'll follow up with them with my donut campaign saying, Hey, you know, did you enjoy the donuts? Um, and I always, and I, I do some playful, um, marketing talking about sweets and, um, you know, different sweet treats and things like that. Um, let your next signing be a sweet one, things like that. I have like different playful playing off of the fact that I left them donuts. I have some kind of, um, some kind of a, a follow up marketing with that. So the key is bring something to, to your prospect, get something in return, get a business card, some kind of contact information in return. Then you follow up afterwards with them. Okay. That's the number one strategy. Um, and that's obviously going to work in your local market, but as you grow, you want to um, expand on that market as well. Okay. The second is networking events. Um, I, two years ago, I went to a networking event. I was stalking a prospect, a title, um, a title agency that I wanted to do business with. And they was throwing a, a, an event. It was actually a, a cigar event. It was a cigar and tasting event that they had. Um, and it wasn't too far from where, um, I'm based. It was about uh, like 10 miles from where I was based. So I signed up for the event. It was like a hundred bucks to sign up for the event because it was a tasting event. It was giving out free cigars and free tastings, things like that. And I like to smoke cigars every now and then. So I went to the event. And I made it my point of duty to make to to meet that prospect. So I sat at the same table she was at, and um, started networking with her. And of course, I dressed very well. I wore a suit, um, and it was a cigar event. So you know, you kind of dressed I dressed up a little bit. Some people didn't dress up; they had polos. But me, I wanted to dress up because I was there to meet um, my prospect. So I met her. She complimented me on how well I dressed. And we met, we met at her office. She said, you should meet with my, you know, office assistant. We always looking for a good notary. So then I met her and I introduced myself and I would tell her, you know, I could do some signings for you. And then I told her, you know, I was a signing service. And then she was happy about that because they had a, um, they had issues with like out of state closings. So, um, she, we had a great relationship. We had a great rapport and she's my biggest client to date. You know, mm -hmm. so networking that, that goes back to what I was saying initially, like meeting a prospect in person outweighs anything that you can do online. Um, because when somebody meets you, they, they feel you, there's an energy that that's exchanged that cannot be exchanged over the phone or via email. Okay. So that's what I recommend meet the person. So if you get, get, get out from behind the computer and go meet the person.
Okay. If you want more business, that's what you, that's what you're going to have to do. I'm a natural introvert, but I make in my point of duty to do things outside of the box. And that's all it always paid off for me. Okay. Then we go to social media, right? So social media will be the third option. Pick a platform, whatever platform that you like. LinkedIn is probably the number one go to because that's where a lot of the um, your prospects is going to be title agencies, real estate agents, things like that. Um, but they're also on like TikTok. You know, I see a lot of notaries on TikTok. Um, and you could also go to you know, Facebook and um, um, Instagram. You, you pick one, whatever one that you like, you pick that platform. YouTube, right? YouTube as well. Um, if you enjoy doing videos, you got to got to get on YouTube. Um, sorry, I have something in the oven. If you hear that <laughs> lunch, <laughs> so got to go on YouTube and, um, create videos and, um, whatever platform is good for you, you go on that platform and you'll be consistent on that platform. So you pick a schedule and you say, okay, I want to do this once a week, twice a week, once a month, whatever your schedule is, stick to the schedule. I'm guilty of not doing that. Um, cause I let life, life, life is lifing, right? So life gets in the way, but this year I want to be more consistent and I'm going to have the community, my community hold, hold me accountable. And I'm going to hold you accountable to be more consistent on social media because that's what attention is, right? The attention is on social media. So we have to go to where the people are. Okay. So that's, that's that. Um, as far as paid advertisements, you can go to Google, um, AdWords and, and pay to, but you have to have something, a uh, place for where the people is going to land. So you gotta have to have, um, 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 either like a web page, which I highly recommend. Uh, you're gonna have to have some, if uh, a group, maybe you can um, go on like, um, like a Facebook group or something like that you can create. Um, and, uh, you have to have a place for where the people can land. Okay. Um, but one thing I want, one thing I'd like to show you here is, uh, Facebook's ad library. This is a uh, Facebook, um, has an open policy where you can see all the ads that's being um, promoted on their site. And this can kind of give you a sneak peek as to what other notaries are doing as far as advertising. So if you just Google, um, you know, meta ads library, meta ads library, um, just click on the link and it'll take you to the, the Facebook ads library. So once you go in here, I'll just click United States because that's where you're advertising. I'll click all ads and let's just do notary let's type in notary. And then when we type in notary, it's going to search for all the ads that other notaries are doing online. So you can kind of see what other notaries are doing online. Take a sneak peek, steal ideas. <laughs> it's not, you could definitely steal some ideas and create an ad for yourself. And the ad can go to your webpage. You can go to your, 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 your Facebook page or wherever, wherever you want to go. You can create like, a um, a, a lead, a magnet. So where that they can leave like their lead information there. Uh, so, you pick, you pick your poison, whatever you want to do, you can do it. But, um, you, I'm starting to get into this a little bit, create um, some paid ads and I'm playing around with this. And that's kind of what led me to finding the, the meta library. But yeah, I recommend you go in there and search and see whatever is, um, applicable to your market. Um, you can choose United States. Uh, you can also choose, I believe you can choose a state. Let me see. Um, no, so it doesn't let you choose a state, but it lets you choose a country. So you choose United States and then you just go in and, and start searching. Okay. So that's, that's what I recommend. Um, another good place I, when I mentioned in-person event networking, I didn't, um, I didn't include like groups. So you want, you can definitely, uh, join different groups so that you can be part of the com community. So like, I know NNA has a group, um, 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 Loan sign assessment has a group, so you want to go in that group as well. If you if you did take the course, you auto automatically could be a member of that group. But different, there's different notary groups out there. There's like ten or twenty notary groups on Facebook that you can join. Um, get get part of the community because a lot of times other notaries may post, "Hey, is there a notary in Florida that can do this?" Or there's no there's a notary in this area that can do that. Um, so a lot of times we may reach out to the community to see if, the, if, if other notaries are available to do things. And if you're at the right place at the right time, you could definitely um, get a signing that way as well. So uh, these are the, some of the topics I want to discuss in this module. Um, one uh, last thing I'd like to leave with you is when you're reaching out to a cold prospect, make sure that you lead them away from pain. When you, when you're working with a warm prospect, you want to, you want to lead them towards pleasure, right? Because we, if, 
if we in pain, we'll take help from anyone, right? But if we, um, well, we won't take pleasure from anybody, right? You're not going to take food from a random person if you, uh, that you don't know, it could be poisonous. But um, if you, if you need help, if you're, if you're, if you're in pain, or if you fall down, anybody can come and help you get up, right? So when you're dealing with cold, lead, cold leads, you want to pull them away from pain. And when you're dealing with a warm lead, then you want to pull them towards pleasure. Okay. I learned that from my mentor, Myron Golden. If you don't know him, look him up. He's the best. All right. That's all for this module. Peace.